All right, so um, probably just need to talk about the chain rule, but in a different way to how we've talked about the chain rule in the past. Um, so you've seen me do this a couple of times, but I just want to show you again the order in which I talk about the chain rule. What we can say is that the change in y with respect to x is equal to, and then what I tend to do is put a little uh, multiply here, a fraction here, a fraction here, and then I put dy up the top there. So I take dy from there and put it there, move, take dx and move it there. So I've still got top and bottom, and then you just put du's uh, in the spaces. So what this says is, the change in y with respect to x is equal to the change in y with respect to u times the change in u with respect to x. So we can use that in the ways that we've used it in the past, uh, but we can also use it if we know this and uh, we know this uh, in, in related questions. That explanation feels a bit vague, so I want to give you like a concrete uh, thing to hang it on, I suppose. This is a balloon. Uh, yeah, trust me, a balloon. Uh, now, obviously, when you're inflating a balloon, that's a change. So we can do a derivative, a, a differential equation there. Now, I'm going to use uh, three things for my example. If I wanted to know the change in volume with respect to time of this balloon, but you didn't have um, like a direct way of doing it, one way that you could do it is by taking the, uh, let's say, the radius of the balloon from the middle to here. So if you know uh, the change in volume with respect to the radius times uh, the change in the radius with respect to time, if you do change in volume with respect to the radius, and obviously volume and radius are related, so you could come up with something for that, and you multiply the, by the change in the radius with respect to time, which you could do by uh, filming the balloon, filling up over time. If you multiply those two derivatives together, what you'll get is the change in the volume of the balloon with respect to time. So that's how we can use the chain rule uh, in terms of our related rates. Question time. 